This was the first enrollment when Corinthians was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went out from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David. To be enrolled with Mary and controlled, who was the child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flocks. The angels of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you. My name is Larry Mulchick, and I was born in Grand Island, Nebraska. Uh, actually, I'm usually asking other people about their family traditions because I'm the videographer. The one thing I remember about Christmas when we grew up is that it mostly involved the extended family, lots of aunts and uncles, first cousins and so forth. We usually got together at my grandmother's house. Her name was Kowalski. The Mulchicks got together usually in the Grand Island area or, or uh, sometimes with my cousins, the Zelaznys and so forth. It was a big house full when we all got together. The main part of the Christmas celebration always took place on Christmas Eve and I guess it never really occurred to me as I was growing up that why, why we, Christmas Eve was, was the important time. Uh, as a Polish Catholic, Polish family, uh, I guess I just really didn't understand why the rest of the world seemed to give so much significance to Christmas Day as opposed to Christmas Eve like, like we did. But since becoming involved with the Polish Heritage Center, it, it's become clear to me that, that Christmas Eve is a, a big part of the Polish tradition. And that the Vigilia meal, like we're having this evening, is, is a, an important part of that. And we'll be talking more about that lately. I can't remember that we had very much, very traditional going on in our, in our family as I was growing up. Probably the most traditional food that we had was Polish sausage. Uh, there weren't any other special dishes other than that. Um, so I guess I was at a, at a cultural deficit during that growing up time. But I do remember the importance of Christmas Eve. On, on occasion, we would go to Mass, uh, Midnight Mass, and that was mostly the women taking the kids to Midnight Mass, and the dads, of course, stayed home. Grace at the table was always said in Polish by my busha. We, from there, we would just relax and visit with family, and I think our biggest gift as children, because we were poor, was probably Santa coming to our house, and he always had a bag of candy for us. Messiah and Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. Suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host, with an angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom Hi, uh, I am Linda Schmatter. This is my husband, Mel. Um, I was Linda Jablonski growing up in Loop City, Nebraska. Bob and Marcella Jablonski uh, are my parents. And um, we had many, many Christmas traditions. Uh, one of the things I remember the most was going to my grandparents on Christmas Eve, always. Um, and we had usually a fish dinner with uh, fish soup and um, all the trimmings. And um, then we'd come home and uh, Santa would, well, we'd have a, a program also. Uh, we didn't ever get to um, 
open any gifts until we'd had our program, and then we'd usually maybe just open one gift, and then Santa would come through the night, and we would um, wake up to the tw our presents under the tree, and it was always very special, and there were 10 of us kids, so uh, we really had many, many very special Christmases together, and uh, for which I'm very grateful. My parents were Joe and, and Helen Schmatter, and uh, we lived in, in the country, so our major deal was to get the chores done so we could quick get together, and having a big meal was, was our main feature, and we made brown potato soup, and that's what we all look forward to. And then we would argue if we opened our presents in the evening or had to wait till Christmas Day, and then we always went to midnight mass, so that was always our big Christmas event. Got about that. Midnight Mass always. My name is Sister Rita Colbert. I was born in Hayes County, Nebraska, which is near McCook. My parents were Charles and Cecilia Colbert. And I remember as a child, we always went to Midnight Mass. And my dad wanted to be sure to be on time, but mom was usually late coming to the car. When we got home from Midnight Mass, Santa Claus had been there. And the funny thing about um, the names on the packages, the F, Santa Claus made the F just like my mother did. And I don't know how old I was before I, I fell for the trick. And uh, I'm a German descent. Uh, I've learned a lot about the Polish living in Loop City, Nebraska, and also here at Ashton. I hadn't a clue about what a Polish person was. I'm Leona Swanson from St. Paul. My parents were Frank and Vernie uh, Ferentz Faust from St. Paul. Uh, our traditions were very special, always midnight mass. That was a big, big thing for us, getting in that 41 Ford, uh, going to midnight mass and then getting up the next morning, uh, Santa Claus would arrive at our house and putting up a tree. We didn't do that until about a week before Christmas. I always wanted it up earlier, but that was a tradition. About a week before Christmas, we would put up our tree. Uh, Santa Claus always arrived the next morning uh, in a special way. Uh, my dad's birthday was on Christmas also, and that was a, really a special time. So then uh, we get up real early and get our chores done. Then we go to Grandma Ference's house here at, near the Paplin area, and that was a very special time for me. I'm the only child, so it was nice to go in to see my grandma and uh, having a big dinner. My mother would pre prepare the uh, goose or a duck, and Grandma would have the potatoes and gravy and corn, and my uncle made the most special jello. Uh, nobody in this world can make jello like my Uncle Frank did. Uh, other than that, um, it was just a very special Hi, time. I'm Joanne Badura. I'm from Canada. I was born in Ontario, and my parents are Lorraine Laidman, and she was a Godwin, and Kenneth Laidman. I have an English-Scottish background and a little bit of Swiss. Um, traditions for us are very much like they are in the States. I think everybody thinks everything's really different between the two countries, but they're not. Um, we always had, one of the things that we were able to do is Christmas Eve, my parents, in order to keep us from getting up too early in the morning, would always let us take one gift to bed with us and we would always play with that in the morning till it was time to get up. And we had a very good friend of the family who worked for Mattel. So we always chose his gift because it was always the best. It was always some sort of a fun toy. Christmas Day, we always went to my aunt and uncle's, spent Christmas with them and with my cousins. And we had, I had five different, co or five cousins on that side of the family. And it was a big extended celebration. We always had a lot of fun. But one of the best things was, is we used to actually go out before Christmas and cut our tree down, just like they do in the movies. Um, you go out, horse sleigh, go out to the tree farm, cut your tree down. Sometimes you have to actually haul it back. So we always had a lot of adults with us to do that. And one of the best things was, is when I moved to Nebraska, my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law had a tree farm. 
So the tradition continued, and for probably the first 15 years that I was here, after Thanksgiving, we'd all eat Thanksgiving dinner, and then we'd all truck up to the, to the trees. Everyone would cut down a tree. Carl and Sandy would let us have a tree. And we hauled it back down, and everybody had a Christmas tree from their home. So it was kind of like the tradition carried on when I came to Nebraska. But the trees are too big now. We were starting to cut the tops of the trees, but we can't even do that anymore because these trees are like huge. So it's kind of sad that that tradition has kind of almost come to an end. So I think we all need to get out there and plant some trees. But Christmas is the same in Canada as it is here. It's just probably a little colder. And for the cold of those two years is that everybody kind of thinks of that and they wish one another uh, a blessing for the Christmas season, but also for the new year. And you know, Traditionally around the family table, everybody would try to gather from the family. They were from the city, they try to come home to their village where the rest of the family was. And even if some of the wafer, if somebody could not make it, they would save a little bit of wafer to put in an envelope in the car and mail it to them in the city or mail it to them in the United States to show that they were being remembered, that they were sharing in the blessings that Christmas. I'm Norma Janevich. My mother and father was Vernie and John Janevich. There were four of us in our family. It was our tradition always to have a uh, going to midnight mass, singing on the choir, coming home, having a soup supper, opening gifts, and thanking the dear Lord for all the things that we had. It was always a good feeling to have our family together. And as we grew older, the, the family uh, started to grow with children, with grand, my mother had grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and always it filled the house on Christmas Eve. And then we also had on Christmas Day a great big dinner for all of our family. We really appreciated Christmas. Uh, the, the, the Christmas was, for us, a lot of sharing of what we had. You know, homemade goodies that my mother baked and candies that she had made. We also gave presents to neighbors and good friends. Don Ferens. And Christmas years ago was quite a bit different. We used to uh, like put popcorn around the tree and uh, then always had like nuts, walnuts. You could break them with that what is a uh, nutcracker. And what and some years we went to uh, midnight mass, real early times, and then we always uh, we didn't. Get to
board members. I mean, our our Polish Heritage Center. I mean, it's.